Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Aaron And Nicole. This is our special summer series from Dude That's Fucked Up. Dude, it's fucking summer. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Summertime. Happy Pride. Oh, happy Pride. Oh, happy. All kinds of fun wow. Stuff. Isn't it weird that sexuality is now capitalism? Ugh. <laughs> We still love to see it. We still love to see America. it. America. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Summertime is here. <sighs> I mean, honestly, officially, now that um, uh, the new, uh, what's it called, came out. What? Um, Top Gun. Oh. <laughs> like, can I can't even think. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the summer blockbuster of 2022 is Top Gun. It's so fucking good. Go see it. I can't wait to see it. I just keep hearing all see good it in things theaters. about it. You have to. It's not. Yeah, yeah, you have. Do what you can to see it in theaters before it leaves. Although I think it'll be around for a while because it's going to make a lot of money. Like the theater was packed. And when I tell you a group of people behind us when we were leaving the theater was like, that's the best movie I've seen in years. And I couldn't <laughs> not engage. And I turned around and I was like, was that so much fun? They're like, oh my gosh, so much fun, blah, blah, blah. And we were just like <laughs> chatting as we're all like hustling to the bathroom. Um, oh, I love it. I love oh, it. That's it's so, so good. fun. What a fun time. And we, you know, Tom Cruise, problematic, Scientologist, blah, 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 whatever. The man knows yeah. how to make a good movie. I will say that. That's the problem, man. That guy is just a fucking machine, an entertainer. He is uh, an to entertainer. The nth degree. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What are you going to do? You know? What are you going to do? What I know. Listen, no do? one's making movies like that. And honestly, like Pete and I were just talking about Marvel movies and stuff. And it's just like, those are fun, but they're all, it's all just like CGI. Mm -hmm. And that's what's fucking insane about this movie, Top Gun Maverick or whatever. It is not CGI. These are actual stunts. It's actual speed. I'm getting full body chills. It is loud and rumbly and like fast and scary and like so fucking cool. And also just like felt like I was hanging out with my dad for two hours. Aww. I, I shouldn't call Pete out, but I like it was like starting and I was getting all excited. And you just feel like this would be moments where my dad's like whooping and hollering, you know, like, yeah. yo, baby. He does, like his little, he, he does his little whistle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like whistling at the TV and just like super <laughs> yeah. into it as the planes are like yeah. flying off the uh, like the carrier and uh and I was just getting really excited and I turned to Pete and he's just fully water is just in his eyes and I knew what it was but I didn't like say anything because I, then I would have been Aww. crying which I felt emotional but more happy uh like it felt like spending time with my dad it was very cool um I but yeah that. it it was so fun it is I yeah I'm gonna see it again I think oh hell yeah <laughs> I can't wait to see it uh, so yeah, so that ring the bell. That means summer started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tom Cruise has a blockbuster. So <laughs> I fucking heard if you like pina coladas today on the Yacht Rock station on Sirius uh. XM, if that's not summer, I don't know what is. We're in it, baby. We're in it. <laughs> well, and as part of our summertime, uh, summertime sadness. Not really. It's not sad. No. It's great. Um, summertime gladness. Summertime gladness. We're we're doing this a uh, special little series of mm -hmm. um, we're we're reading a little cutie little book, a little sexy book. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so <laughs> fun. Uh, we mentioned it last week. I guess if you, uh, it's called um, a uh, mating the huntress by Talia Hibbert. Hibbert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to read along, there is a link in the description to buy the book. So if you want to pause it, there is going to be spoilers because the whole vibe is like, let's read it and talk about it together. Um, yeah, we need to like break this down as we go. Yeah, we're debriefing. Uh, yeah, as we go. And so, um, yeah, if you don't want any spoilers for this book, please pause this go download it it's such a nice fun light read uh it's 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 a quick. novella it's a it's novella, a novella. Mm -hmm. so it's it's longer than a short story but shorter than a regular book so yeah it's it's very easy peasy oh my god it is so fun and so i just have yeah i just there's so many thoughts there's so many things i noticed i was like picturing the 
that were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and just, you know, and then the author will paint you a picture and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's very fun and we're reading it in like um, chunks. So then this episode and our next two episodes will be covering a certain like number of chapters. So today we're talking about the prologue, chapter one and chapter two. Yeah, that's right. Um, Before so, we get yeah. into this, do, real quick, do we have any biz? Check out our new merch on our website. It's dtfupodcast.com. Um, it's sweet. Uh, I don't know if you could see behind me. There's a, a hat on up there. It's yeah. real cute. Yeah, um, cute. Yeah, all kinds of stuff on on the uh, the old website and the merch corner. So check that out. I love that. Um, also, if you are a patron or you're thinking about joining our Patreon dot com slash DTFU podcast, um, you get a discount in the in the merch store. So just make sure you check yep. that if you are considering either of those things. And also in the Discord. Oh, you know the discussion is hot around this book. You know it's hot. We'll, ha- so. we'll have a we'll have a very active discussion about it in yeah. the Discord always, yeah. and you know everywhere on social media, but mostly on the Discord. Mostly in the Discord, yeah. Yep. Um, so check it out, and you, uh, yeah. Do you have anything fucked up this week, real quick, before we get into it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just uh, just living life. What about you? Okay, I just have one thing, and like this is something I've been. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe it finally happened after like two years of lockdown. Plus, two plus years? Like two and a half years now? Oh my now. God, bitch. Oh, I was like two, yeah. Well, I was like watching. Okay, you know, Pete and I are, are going to be traveling, and I'm like, what's my coffee situation going to be? I'm like having real big panic about it. Like, I can't take my espresso <laughs> machine. <laughs> That's insane. So I'm like, <laughs> how do I. How do I, like, have my coffee every morning that is, like, satisfying to me and, like, my fun ritual? And so I was watching this man talk about a mocha pot, uh, and it was very relaxing, and I was just, like, super into it and, like, kind of just, like, lost track of space and time. Mm. And I farted at my desk (laughs) right here. I'm at my desk. (laughs) Pete was on a Zoom call. Oh, dear. Uh, Luckily, it was, like, not silent, but, like, quiet i I don't think he he muted yeah i think he was muted but oh my god after it it didn't (gasps) slip out i forced it out after i forced it out (laughs) (laughs) but like accidentally yeah just forgetting where you were yeah 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 Uh yeah. after i forced it out and like my butt was very unclenched i immediately oh i've never clenched my asshole so tight like not even when i'm like about to shit my pants like it was full lockdown just like (laughs) tightened asshole it was like a submarine hatch or whatever like it was so airtight and I like look over to see if he's there and he was and he didn't like flinch or anything and I was like oh my god and then after it afterwards you know I was like were you on a call and he's like yeah why and I was like I farted and he was like oh like not a big deal and I was just like he's like I fart all the time (laughs) I don't but I don't think he does but it's like how do you not like I'm he, when I'm at my desk, most of the time, I'm not in a meeting. True. And I'm yeah. not going to fart when we're recording. I wait until the camera's off and then I just will fart if I have to. I'll just hold it in. Yeah. It's <laughs> just it's just politeness. <laughs> it's just politeness. Uh, anyway. Oh, my God. So that was, um, I can't believe it took two and a half years, but it finally happened. Wow. I mean, the <sighs> perils of Zoom. I know. Honestly, it's like we're that's the that's honestly the biggest thing that probably people are battling as they're going back into the office is like forgetting they're in the office and just like ripping a fat one. Listen, I've worked in offices before where people just oh. don't care. You know, uh, pe- well, those people aren't me. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not people. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, All right. Oh bless, bless Pete, bless, bless your butt. Um, bless my butthole. Well, you know we've said it before. Your butthole will betray you. So it, honestly, it, and it, it kind of has been. I think I'm just reaching. I'm of that age where the farts just come out. Mm. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Not not quite there yet. Yeah. All right. Oh, Thank you. Oh man. <sighs> oh shoot. <laughs> well, you guys, let's talk about this book, okay? We're going to okay. talk 
we're gonna just like ease right into it okay yes we're gonna, mm, get in the jacuzzi Ooh, just like ooh, yeah just we're gonna like feet in we're just gonna like Dip our toe in, see if it's warm enough, check the temperature. Oh, it's just warm enough. Okay, mm. maybe we'll stick a foot in. But but today we're just talking about the first few chapters, and they're titillating, but it's the mm. buildup, you know? That's right. Yeah, it's going to set us up for the rest of the book, rest of the sexy, sexy times. Mm-hmm. Um, and just to repeat the the log line yeah. uh, for the book, um, just so you guys know what's going on yeah uh, again Megan right. the Huntress by Talia Hibbert yes um okay here's the log line chastity Adolfo knows a monster when she sees one as soon as Luke Anthony wanders into her family's coffee shop she recognizes the evil lurking beneath this charming smile and fantastic arse <laughs> the handsome werewolf is determined to have her but she's determined to cut out his heart. Ooh. Little does she know, Luke's plans for her are far more pleasurable than murder. <gasps> and when the full moon rises, all bets are off. Oh, uh, and when the full Ow. moon rises, so does his dick. Hey. Hey. What a fook. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. Basically. Oh, my God. Okay, so we get into this book. It's, yeah. It's real cute. Well, not cute. It's fun. It it grabs you right away in the prologue. Yeah, and it's cute. Yeah, it's action. I feel like the prologue is really puts us in it immediately. It's kind of like high stakes. You know, it's how you want a book to start in the action. Yes. You don't want to take too long. You want to get in the action. You want to use the context clues to figure out what's going on. Um, I did think it was interesting. Do we want to talk about the two characters real quick? The two main characters? Well, let's talk about the pro- prologue really quickly okay. so that we, don't we can meet- just get that out of the way. Because we don't meet the main character. Well, not in the way that we are supposed to meet the main characters yet. Yes. Um, so it's the it's the middle of the night. It's in the woods. It's yeah. dark. It's yeah. You are, it's, um, it's tense. It, and it's, it's September is the month is, yeah. is what the, like the prologue says. Mm. Um, and, but it's a full moon. And yeah. so you are, you're in this very tense situation with a woman hunting or running from a monster, basically a werewolf. Yes. And this is victory who mm. has had a run in with a werewolf who we'll soon find out was is one of the main characters luke yeah um she's hunting him or is he hunting her (gasps) we don't know we don't know and she is from a long line of werewolf hunters Mm -hmm. and so that she's doing her job basically yeah but then suddenly she realizes oh i'm i'm not getting away from this werewolf and she just stops and she's like i'm gonna just Face down death, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And he pounces on her, does not kill her, Mm -mm. like tries to speak to her somehow. But because he's kind of in human form, right? I mean, he's a werewolf, so he is part human. Yeah. Not a full wolf. True, 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 true. So she's like totally dumbfounded. She thinks it's going to rip her throat out, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. What it does is takes a piece of her sweatshirt. Yeah. Although this is not her sweatshirt that she's wearing. She's wearing her sister's sweatshirt. So it's giving it's very much giving um, Crispin Glover from Charlie's Angels Full Throttle (laughs) (laughs) where he's chasing Drew Barrymore to cut a piece of her hair and then he smells it like this is the scene that is. Um, that is a thousand like, percent. Yeah, yeah. Because he takes this piece of fabric and he's like, oh, and then he's like upset that it's not who her. It's, yeah, she is not carrying the smell. Just the sweatshirt is. He's kind of thrown off. Yeah, um, he's like, wait, you're not the, you're not the one. And so yeah. we're like confused. Like something is afoot. And yeah. so then it goes to chapter one. Yeah. Chapter one is where we're finally we're introduced to the main characters. Yeah. But I like what the prologue did, which is like set up 
that like it's kind of like you know like this guy isn't like other guys it's like this werewolf isn't like other werewolves because you didn't kill victory yeah 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 totally so it's kind of like oh he's like alternative or whatever and i feel like that's the image that i (laughs) i carried with me through the book (laughs) oh no oh no that's unfortunate i know (sighs) um so the first chapter, we're introduced to Chastity Adolfo, mm-hmm. the person whose sweatshirt Victory was wearing in the prologue. Right. Um, They're sisters. Chast- yeah, Chastity is her sister. And then Luke Anthony is the werewolf, but hu- in human form in chapter one. Yeah. And he's hot. They're both hot. Oh, my gosh. They're both described as like hot pieces of arse. And this is uh, this is important to the plot because... They're gonna be fucking. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you want you want the you want, you want the sexy be, stuff. Yeah. You want them to be hot. She's like, she's like a um, curly haired wannabe huntress who's all who like also is like very cute and works in a bakery that her family owns. Which I the coffee shop. Yeah. It's the very, cafe. Yeah. It's very like um sweet magnolia if anyone's watched that on netflix to me it's just like she wears a cute little half apron with like a frill on it or you know just like she has sometimes is covered in flour it's just a very she's making lattes she's yeah, like yeah, she's a yeah. barista we can see she's... it it's such a great like we know this trope you know yeah and and he is socially awkward oh. because he's like the whole thing is is that he is convinced based on her smell, I guess, yeah. that she, that Chastity is Luke's mate. Yes. Um, and just a little excerpt from the book to illustrate this. Okay. Um, quote, he could smell her stronger than the fresh, fresh baked pastries and Kenyan coffee beans, even stronger than the taste of the next full moon in the air. She was an intoxicating mix of autumn leaves, red velvet cake, and chilled iron that had his cock hardening instantly, (laughs) which was bloody inconvenient, to be honest. Public (laughs) erections were, by all accounts, considered impolite. (laughs) Oh, my God. I love that about the the first mention of cock within like the third page or something oh my god and like public erections are considered impolite it says so much it's uh it just paints such a lovely picture because it's like he's very feral you know Mm -hmm. he's like going off pheromones and he's very awkward like he doesn't he doesn't understand social norms but he knows an erection is not something you should have in public yeah which is very funny it seems that way and so he but he is like he is determined to talk to her and make her his mate. Yes. And he has to be able to, like, talk to her. So right, it's a very, um, very funny kind of, like, exchange. And it's really awkward and cute. Mm-hmm. Um, this is another part of the book that I, I found very funny. Okay. Uh, and just kind of, like, illustrates his, like, social awkwardness. Um, yeah. And makes it a very you know relatable like kind of real thing uh quote is, he read oh, oh sorry go ahead i was gonna say is it when he orders six ham and cheese croissants oh no i love that though it's <laughs> really funny i was like that's like, gonna cause some attention yeah yeah uh he was like want- wanting to order more but he didn't want to yeah, yeah didn't want to get crazy <laughs> yeah that was really funny uh quote he reached the counter and stood for a moment staring at her in silence like a dickhead <laughs> Love. Oh, I, love I loved it. The word dickhead. Oh, me it's too. So funny. What a great. It's so use. funny. Uh, and it's like very British to me too. Um, yeah. He couldn't yes. help it. She was his mate. Not yet, technically, but still. She was so beautiful with her dark curls battling the hairnet and her round midnight eyes that looked everywhere but him. Oh, great. It's, it's great. It's so sweet. It's, it's very sweet. This whole, and so that's. Yeah, yeah. This whole chapter just kind of sets up like basically like. They already know each other when we meet them because he's been coming in for a while. But it's just like a kind of like a day in the life of them. Only it as with any good story, it's like, why is this happening now? And it's because she like 
we're we're understanding how their like romance is star crossed where like she's revealing she wants to kill him and he's revealing he wants to mate her and we're understanding this from both sides immediately. Well, he's tracked her down. He's tracked her down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because he has that piece of sweatshirt and tracked her down to this this cafe. But he's, and been, he's been going. Coming in. Yeah, he's been yeah, coming in. Yeah, for like in. the past month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And not uh, saying but much. He, but yeah. he's working up the courage to ask her out. And so he finally does on this yeah. day. Yeah. And that's the next chapter. They set up in this first chapter a date, a like Netflix and chill situation. Mm-hmm. At, Netflix and uh, kill. Netflix and if kill. If you're chastity. If you're chastity. Mm-hmm. Chastity if you're nasty. Uh, <laughs> uh, at his house, obviously a werewolf coming to her house would be a problem. Yeah. Um, because her whole family is werewolf hunters. Um, uh, awkward. Yeah. She can't be having him. But over. if you want to get the job done, why not? You know? I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So lure him in. Well, because she's trying to prove this is also like everything that's being set up. It's like she's not actually a huntress because her family won't let her because, you know, they heard from there like, was a prophecy, a prophecy by a witch. Yeah. yeah when it's she all was born. very. Yeah. It's all it's all perfectly set up. And we know immediately they can't th- there's gonna be uh, it is like an angel and buffy situation where it's like this mm-hmm. can't happen yeah because everything it shouldn't says, happen according to all the yes. rules that they yes. have been blindly going by yeah <laughs> or she has anyway do um, you have a yeah. um a, a excerpt from this chapter that you want to read i do uh so they go to his house for this Netflix and chill date. Yeah. Um, in chapter two. And um it's very hot, very sexy. <gasps> She's like blown away that he actually is like seemingly artistic and yeah. gentle and kind. And she's just like really weirded out because every other werewolf she's had any kind of like knowledge of has been like a monster basically yeah so she's very confused but she's not letting that deter deter her from her her main objective of yes. murdering him basically mm-hmm. um but she's like this guy's hot like he's a hot human so what the yeah. fuck um okay so this really this part really made me laugh um okay. she she was Concentrating on tamping down the fight or flight response elicited by sitting an arm's length away from a werewolf when she noticed that Luke was licking his cream cheese icing. (gasps) Oh, fuck. (laughs) His broad tongue swept over the thick, pale swirls, scooping up the little red flakes of sugar that acted as decoration. He managed to decimate half the icing in one long lick. His lids lowered in shameless pleasure, his blissed out expression making her oddly uncomfortable, fidgety, unable to look away, which was why when he opened his eyes a second later, he found her staring at him. Ooh. If this isn't, I heard this and I'm like, this has to be foreshadowing. Like, we're going to see him use that tongue in a way that is and not I on mean, a cupcake. You know what I mean? We know. We know. We, know. we know where this is We already is going. know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. honestly, I loved this scene. I was like, I, I love I, it too. I, this is hornier to me than like someone describing sex almost because it's like, like secret or, or it's like she like sees mm-hmm. it, but he's not actually doing the thing. Oh, so mm-hmm. hot. Mm. Um, and one more line from that okay. that I just got to say. Yeah. And her instincts were telling her to rip the sexy fucker's clothes off, sit on his dick, and then carve out his heart or something. She was hazy on the details. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's still so like, good. all right, my the plan has changed to fucking him and killing him after or during or, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Still wants to kill him, but also wants to fuck him. She's very confused. So like this is they're into each other. There's like. I th- I think this chapter ends with like some some like ki- kissing like we're, we're we're getting right into they're gonna make out like it's gonna be hot, it's hot it's like it's all it's teasing already, up to that, yeah it's already just like we know it's gonna happen yeah and it's right into it which I love I love it I love it too it, I mean yes. it's a short book we got to get into the fucking that's true yeah so yeah so we leave off 
chapter two with them um, basically about to make out. Yeah. And so the next episode, we will be talking about what happens next. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay. Chapter three. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Before we do that, um, what do you think? Okay. Uh, just predictions for chapter three through five, which we're reading next week. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they're going to bone. I don't like, know. I don't know. The way this the formula of a romance novel goes and especially I don't I feel like maybe they're just going to make out or something or maybe some finger banging or or Oh yeah. I don't know, something <laughs> like, something erotic but not not full fucking. That comes like at the end usually. Oh, really? Mhm. What what they can't fuck multiple times? Well, especially when there's conflict like this. True, 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 true. Yeah. You know? True. And also, like, he's into her, but she's not super into him yet because she just wants to kill him. Okay. Yeah. okay. There has to be some some resolutions right, right. happening here. I will say, though, okay, so we know in Chapter 2 that when she goes to his house, she has silver on her. She has, like, a silver oh, yeah. dagger, I think. And then she also has silver chain, like, silver chain link around mm-hmm. her thighs to potentially tie him down because as we all know werewolves cannot be exposed to silver that's like one of their like it's like garlic it's like for kryptonite vampire. yeah yeah uh-huh. yeah but you know what i when i read that like she has it around her thighs i was like "Ooh, are we gonna be getting into like i don't know if maybe the the book would have to warn us but like is there gonna be like a bdsm like is this gonna be I'm wondering if this is going to be like Fifty Shades of Grey sex mm. or... Where she's using the silver to like punish him. To like tie punish him, him. Up, but he <laughs> likes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but like maybe he's into it. Because he's we'll not see. a regular werewolf. We know this. He, he He's an alt. He's werewolf. an alt. Yeah. <laughs> and he there's something different about him. That's all we know. And so, I don't know. Maybe he's just like very kinky and like she's going to try and kill him or something. And he's going to like fucking love it. And he has the world's biggest boner or something. And then. We'll see. Halfway through, this book becomes like a medical journal where it's like. Then, then it's just describing this huge werewolf dick for like the last half of the book. Who's I to say? I hope so. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Who's to say? We'll see. We'll see. Oh my um, gosh. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, that's where we're at. I don't, I, I, I think, do you have any other thoughts about what, what we've read so far or? I'm loving it. That's all. I'm loving I'm it. I'm loving it. I'm like, it's like McDonald's. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. ba 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 I can't wait to get to the next chapters. Me too. Yeah, nothing too steamy is happening yet. And so, but I feel like we're like seconds away, you know? We're seconds away, yes. We're on the precipice. That's right. All right. Well, let's, um, let's talk about the next three chapters next week. Chapters. Yeah. Three through five. Three through five. Yeah. But Get also, ready. yeah, if you're reading along, please let us know what you think so far. You know, this we're, we're just getting into it. So not too much has happened. We're really, this is all just kind of exposition to set up the story so that we can get to the fun stuff, I think. Um, it's all it's all fun so It's far. all fun, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I do. Like, yeah. Honestly, I was surprised how quickly we saw the word cock. I, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I, I thought, you know, like. It's like, oh, his, like, powerful member or whatever, like, it was just cock right there staring right back at me from the page. And I giggled. And Pete said, what? And I said, this book said cock. It ain't your great grandma's romance novel, (laughs) that's for sure. (laughs) Okay. So next week, we'll talk about chapters three, four, and five of Mm -hmm. Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. So fun. Yeah. Please let us know what you think on social meds at DTFU Mm -hmm. podcast in all the places. Yeah. Hope you're um, laying on a beach somewhere or in a bathtub or whatever reading this bad boy. Alone in your bed with some candles lit, maybe. Who's to say? Or on the toilet on your phone. (laughs) (laughs) That's where you're reading it. Always. (laughs) It's the only place I have privacy. Yeah. Uh, Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, all right. So fun. Until next week, um, (laughs) stay excellent to yourselves. And each other. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.